Welcome to your AFN Korea 2-Minute Report. I'm Army Sergeant Fawn Mann. It's rare to see the ROC Army, U.S. military, and Korean police SWAT team in one place. Today, all of them are working together on Pier 8. Katusa Corporal Park Juin is in Busan, where this special group is getting some hands-on training. Today, there is a bomb threat at Pier 8. The U.S. military has evacuated the area, firefighters provide first aid, and the KMP SWAT team moves quickly to dispose the bomb. This is a very important exercise because it displays the teamwork necessary, the joint, the combined, and the interagency teamwork involved with getting the mission done here in Busan. Combined anti-terrorism training exercises like this one are a vital part of readiness of the peninsula. Many of the first responders are going to be our host nation personnel, whether it's the 53rd Infantry Division or the 125th Infantry Regiment. So we have to work very closely with them for mission accomplishment. The successful training gave participants a unique experience. I believe through this training, our counterterrorism efforts will go stronger. In Busan, the U.S. military is small as far as numbers. But because of this exercise, their strength lies in experience rather than numbers. Kutusa Corporal Park Juin, Busan, Korea. No one knows when an emergency situation or bomb threat will occur. But through joint exercises like this, the U.S. and ROC armies and Korean SWAT team will be ready to take charge of the situation. This has been your AFN Korea 2-Minute Report.